guys, welcome to Think Tech Tips. Today we're going to be having a look at Pixelmator and in particular we're going to be looking at how to um, store uh, certain images or text to give a three dimensional effect to the picture. So go to Launchpad if you have OSX Lion and uh, open up Pixelmator. Then you want to create a new image and for today we're going to be using 1280 by 800 and resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Click OK. OK, so first of all we're going to start off by making a shape and then uh, turning that into 3D. So go to rounded rectangle shape, draw your shape and then perhaps um, add a stroke to it or you can change the fill colour if if you would prefer a different colour um, like that and then we can go to the transform and we can uh, we can right click we can hold click here oh sorry um, one thing you have to do is uh, convert convert this shape to pixels and then it will allow you to um, modify so hold the settings icon here and go to um, distort first okay so what distort allows you to do is to manipulate the image um, to make it look as if it's 3D or as if it's in a different sort of position if you're trying to get the effect that it's um, going like that, so it's going horizontal, I suggest using the skew tool instead. Because what it will do is it will go down there. You can move up there and then click OK. And then that sort of gives the appearance that you have a 3D image. So in which case, we can create text here and say um, my 3D image I just change the text so it's easier for you to read remember, remember. so basically you can do exactly the same making sure that you have converted it into pixels first and then you can using the transform tool click a certain area of the object go to skew and then you can move it down there and up there which gives the effect that um, it's on a board however if you're trying to mould it to this shape here um, it's better in this case to use distort as you can pretty much drag it to where you need it to be which can sometimes affect the quality of the image which is why you need to be careful that um, you're not using images that need to be too detailed otherwise they may lose their effect okay guys thanks for watching that was think tech tips on how to make a object look as if it is